Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am your host, Data T, and this is my channel, The Good Guys. Guys, today's story comes out of Philadelphia, okay? And the title reads, Police, five-year-old boy, 71-year-old grandfather shot while at Philadelphia gas station. Now, this is a little bit different, but I do want to cover this um, because it, it's, uh, well, we'll go through the story and I'll give you my perspective like I always do. But first, if you guys wouldn't mind leaving a like, leaving a comment, subscribe. Remember, we are on the road to a thousand subscribers. I know we can get there, guys. All right. So, guys, hit me up on Twitter, on Minds, and even on Truth Social. So let us dive in to this story. A 71-year-old grandfather and his five-year-old grandson have become yet two more victims of gun violence in Philadelphia, all as they were simply sitting in a car at a gas station. Saturday night, I'm Walter Perez. The big story in Action News is a shooting in southwest Philadelphia that ended with a grandfather critically wounded tonight. Meanwhile, his five-year-old grandson is listed in stable condition at CHOP. The gunfire erupting on Passyunk Avenue just before 6 o'clock this evening. Action News reporter Katie Catro found out there was a third person inside that vehicle with the victims. Katie joins us live from police headquarters with details tonight. Katie. And Walter, police say at this point, the search is still on for the gunman. There's no words to describe uh, how, how much of a tragedy that is when that occurs, because this is, a, this is something that this child is going to have to live with and the scars coming from this, this incident. Police say a grandfather and a grandson were shot while sitting in this car. Police say it happened just before 6 p.m. at 61st and Pashunk Avenue in southwest Philadelphia. Officers found this white Nissan riddled with bullets. Police say three people were in the car. The 71-year-old grandfather was driving the vehicle when he was shot in the leg. He's at Penn Presbyterian Hospital in extremely critical condition. A second victim, a five-year-old male, was also struck and taken by police to Children's Hospital. The, the five-year-old, based on the information that we have thus far, was sitting in a child seat in the back of the vehicle. The third person in the car returned fire and fled the scene, according to police. Numerous shell casings line 61st and go around the block. Police believe there were two shooters. Police say 49 rounds have been counted so far. Bullets are from a high-powered rifle and a handgun. Police say the v Okay, so let's dive into this story now what has happened here the grandfather and the grandchild were in this car and got shot up now i think the key piece of information here okay is who was the third occupant and he himself was armed and he returned fire okay so can we assume that the third person was a either the father of this five-year-old thus being uh the grandson father and then grand uh grandfather right or or actually that is a and then b the individuals who pulled up on this vehicle and started to shooting, they were looking for the third suspect or the third occupant in this vehicle. Okay. It looks targeted. It sounds targeted. And here is my thing. If you know that you are, let's say, being wanted, you know that you are a person of interest, you know that there are people looking for you. Do you put your family at risk? Do you put people even you know? Maybe that guy was just a who who could, he could have been just anybody. Do you put those people at risk when you travel with them? Let's say you did something wrong to somebody. Let's see. let's say he was a mobster or a gangster, and then whoever he catches you with, he lights them up too. 
that's how some of these people think. Remember, we are past that age where they decide, hey, we're not going to shoot women and children, or hey, we don't do shootings on Sundays. We don't do no. That is all gone. Honor is no longer even in the equation. And it's sad. It's very sad. Now, the person in the vehicle has every right to shoot back. He has every right to keep a firearm. He's got every right to protect himself and even those who are in the vehicle with him. My surprise is that he did not stay on the scene. My surprise is that he, you know, if, if, if the occupants inside the vehicle were shot, the boy and, and the grandfather, I'm surprised you don't stay on the scene. Why would you leave? Maybe he left n not to further any to incline any more damage to his family. I don't, I, I don't know, but it is, um, it is interesting. It is interesting, but remember, look at this case. Think about it: a child and a grandfather. Now, who knows if those guys saw the child in the back seat because they they don't they don't care. They don't care okay these hoodlums these jokers these criminals these freaking thugs they don't give a shit and they will shoot anybody and um it's it's sad thank god that they they're, they're alive though thank god that they are alive um stuff like this is horrific i mean now i'm i don't know if about you but i, I the other day i was looking at Bulletproof baby seats. Oh, yes. Okay. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's like you got to think of everything. And, and there's no way you're going to be, be able to just fully protect children. You won't be able to. They got to be exposed to, to certain things. But this actual gun violence and, and shooting? No, man. We don't want that. We don't want that. Uh, something, right? Every day, it's something. Let me play the rest of the story, guys. Vehicle was in motion, and it appears the vehicle was targeted. It's always unconscionable when anyone is a victim of gun violence, all the more so when you have an innocent child that obviously, through no fault of their own, happened to be in a place where they are, uh, you know, they're, they're shot. And at this point, police say they don't have a motive as they're still looking for the shooters. If you have any information, they could certainly use your help. Reporting live at police headquarters, Katie Catro, Fraction News at 10 on PHL 17. Well, guys, says that, um, yeah, I, I, they, they confirmed that. I guess she, the, the police officer or even the news um, journalist or whoever that is, they're saying that uh, looks like it was targeted, and that's what it looks like to me as well. But, you know, do you put your, your family in that position? Let's say you, you do something wild and crazy, or even let's say you do something no fault of your own. You do something that's just maybe you're just protecting or you're standing your ground or you're, you're not allowing yourself to be bullied by some thugs on the corner. And then they run up on you. They pull up. <sighs> only, only, only heathens, animals do this. And I hope when they find these people, that's why sometimes I believe there should be somebody in the streets that just cleans it up. You know, cleans it up with a gun. Oh, you're talking about vigilantism. Oh, well, I mean, I'm not going to push for it. But, man, my goodness. If more people were armed when these guys were attacking and be able to respond, I think a lot of this would be cleared up. A lot of criminals would just say, hey, people, these regular Joes 
are armed. We need to be careful. Okay, they may be, hey, we're so careful that maybe, you know what, I need to go get a freaking job. But who knows? Guys, what do you think about this story? Okay, very sad. But at least the grandfather and the grandson are okay. I, I'm thinking to myself, what if the grand, uh, What about the grandfather? Sh should he have a gun? And we've seen in various cases where there has been 93 years old, uh, 73, 63, old people carry firearms as well, okay? Um, they are perfectly well and equipped to, I mean, you know, health-wise, we're not sure, but uh, we have seen of all spectrum of ages, of people defending themselves so um grandfather could have had a gun too uh, you know and i'm thinking about it too in my old age uh i'm not quite there yet but when i get to 60 70 years old i'm still gonna carry if 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 i'm not my hands are not shaking and i don't have any arthritis or anything like that yeah i'm still gonna sh i'm still gonna carry okay so good people should always have guns all the time guys all the times good people should keep and bear arms to the teeth you know for unscheduled events events that just pop off for no goddamn reason it doesn't make sense but at the least you are prepared to do something you may be even carry a gun and you get shot and you you don't even get a chance to pull it i hear that i i do I really do, but in the off chance that that is not the case and you have the ability to protect yourself, why not? Why not carry it? Why not have it? It's the same reason why people have insurance. You may not need it, but it's there. Okay? So, that's my two cents there. Remember, good people have guns and if there were no good men if good men did nothing there would be no good guys